In today's video, I wanted to share a few ways how I find models for my portrait photo shoots so you can too. I know when I was first starting out and I knew portrait photography was what I wanted to do, I didn't have a clue where I can get a model for my shoots. So I started shooting with friends, which is a great way to build your portfolio. And that's what I recommend everybody do when they first start out. But as you start to grow, you don't wanna keep asking your friends. You want some new faces in your portfolio. And to be honest, you just wanna work with more experienced models. There's such a huge difference when working with a professional model who knows how to pose and knows exactly what to do than working with someone with no modeling experience like a friend. It not only makes for better shoots but overall makes your life way easier. Now there are a number of ways to discover and reach out to models for your shoots so let me tell you a few. The first and probably the easiest way to discover models is through Instagram. I use Instagram to do this two different ways. One is to follow other photographers in your city. You should be supporting and connecting with other photographers anyway, but this is also a great way to discover models. If that photographer shot with a model that maybe you want to work with, find the tags and reach out to them. The other method for Instagram is to follow hashtags. I follow a hashtag called Toronto model. And if you don't know what following a hashtag does, basically it shows photos that are posted with that hashtag on your feed, even though you don't follow the person who posted it. So go follow a hashtag for your city to discover models in your area. But let's talk about messaging models through Instagram for a quick second. When reaching out, you wanna keep it short and straight to the point. Something like, hi, my name is Stefano. I'm a portrait and fashion photographer in Toronto and I would love to shoot with you. Something like that is perfect. Or if you have a session already planned, then you can go into a little bit more detail with shoot dates and your vision. Don't just send hey because I guarantee you, you will not get a reply. Both of these are great methods to discover models through Instagram. I should also mention that if a model you want to reach out to has thousands of followers, they may not even see the message, especially because Instagram filters messages from those who aren't friends into message requests, which is a place not too many people check. So many times models will have their email or agency email in their bio where you can contact them for a better chance at them seeing it. Our next method is by contacting modeling agencies directly to set up a test shoot. You can find modeling agencies in your area by doing a quick Google search or even searching on Instagram. When you find one, a simple straight to the point email to the modeling agency of your choice is all you need here. The email should include a short introduction of yourself, who you are and what you do, your vision for the shoot or what you have planned, your team or anyone else involved like a makeup artist, as well as a link to your portfolio and your team's portfolio. So if you have a makeup artist, you want to include a link to their work work like a portfolio or an Instagram page as well. If you have a mood board for the shoot, I would highly suggest sending that along with your email. Then lastly, just add that you're looking for a model for a test shoot or something along those lines. Keep in mind that this method is assuming you already have a well-established portfolio. The truth is, if you don't have an established portfolio or work to show off, no modeling agency is going to waste their time and models time. So continue building your portfolio so so you can use it to work with more professional models. Our last method is through Facebook groups. Facebook groups are a great way to find models, but also to share your work. The local Toronto photographers, models, and MUAs group that I'm a part of have models who are constantly looking for photographers, but the great thing about Facebook groups is that you can post too. So if you are looking for a model for a specific shoot, you can make a post so others know you're looking for models. And like I said, Facebook groups are also a great way of sharing your work to connect with other local creatives. I've had a lot of models and makeup artists reach out to me just from posting some of my work within that group. So join some Facebook groups for the city you're in and start posting. So those are the three ways I discover and get models for my photo shoots. But something to keep in mind is that you have to have at least some portrait work in your portfolio for any of these methods. If I message a model to shoot, the first thing they're gonna do is click on my Instagram account. And if all the photos are pictures of my friends and I hanging out, or random photos of me and there's no real work on my account, or they go to my website and there's no portfolio, they're gonna go back to the message, swipe left and click delete. I know this because I do the same thing. 
If I have someone message me for a photo shoot and it's not a potential client, instead a model who just wants to collab on a shoot, the first thing I do is check out their profile and if I don't see any modeling work, instead I see photos of them at the bar with their friends and random selfies, I'm ignoring that message. So one of the biggest tips I would give you is to clean up your Instagram, make it look professional, shoot with friends to build up a good portfolio with all your best work, create a portfolio on your website and then you could start reaching out to more professional models. Keep in mind that you'll get a lot of nothings as in a lot of no responses, but that's okay. It could be that your style is in something they're interested in or sometimes it's not even about you. It could be that they just didn't see the message. With that being said, if this video helped you, make sure you hit that like button. If you're interested in more photography content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you in the next one.